What was that? Oh, oh. Man, Danny, I'm hit right here. I'm hit. Yeah. I'm hit. Uh, I'm hit right here too, Danny. Hit in the head. Yo, 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 it's the crew, you know who, champ, scholar, genius, conscious by nature, man. We got a situation over here. What's going on? Situation. <laughs> so, <laughs> cops was called to the scene of some kind of disturbance. Came on this video. Woman was locked up, handcuffed, put into a cruiser. The woman gets out of her cuffs and grabs the AR to the front of the cop car, starts shooting. She was able to reach up on our consoles. There's uh, several switches. One is a gun switch to unlock the gun lock, and she found it, unlocked the gun lock, and was able to receive, retrieve a AR-15 rifle. And then she was able to figure out how to put a round in it, put it on fire, and she fired approximately 10 rounds at our depth. Ow! What was that? Oh! Oh! Man, Danny, I'm hit right here. Yeah. Uh, I'm hit right here too, Danny. Hit in the head. 2615 County, we got shots fired up here. We need backup immediately. Start EMS. Start EMS. We got a civilian. We got a civilian hit. What the heck? Did she get out of her cups? No. Can you go in? Stay in. You see her, Danny? You got eyes on? Huh? Shots fired. Get over here. Get over here. Your dad's hit, man. He got hit. He got hit. Get out, Joey. Dad. Are you okay? She shot the cop. She shot the, shot the, old, the old man. The homeowner. <laughs> and the cop. And the cops is running behind a car. No shots fired. No return fire. Apprehended without a scratch. She was taken into custody. That means she was not White shot. White people. <laughs> White woman. <laughs> Shooting an AR-15 at the police and at the homeowner. But black people get out the car and run away from the police and get shot in the back unarmed. <laughs> facts, facts. My boy got a whole AR-15 in the car. Shooting people. Bro, we get killed in the cruiser. We, You know that young brother got thrown in a paddy wagon and he got his neck broke on the way to jail. Police say the man, 36-year-old Richard Cox, was in the back of a transport van when Officer Oscar Diaz, who was driving, had to stop short to avoid a traffic accident. Video from inside the van shows Cox was thrown to the back of the vehicle and hit his head. He told Officer Diaz that he was hurt and while the officer called for an ambulance, he continued to drive to the detention facility at the police department. Police officials say that was a violation of protocol. We have a, a policy that says, if someone's in distress in the wagon, you pull over, you call for medical assistance, and you wait. Drag him out of there, paralyzed for the rest of his life, just by going to jail in the cruiser. But every single time, they getting shot, they getting stabbed, they getting ran over. By assailants, by the justice, they they doing uh you know mass shootings, getting brought to justice. Brought to justice, no, not killed. All I just want is fairness. For me, it's like this, man. The cops is always so fucking tough when it's one mm -hmm. black guy and three, four of them, and he's cuffed up and they're kicking his ass and they beating him to death, Shit. or they running away and they shooting mm -hmm. him in the back. They tough as fuck. Mm -hmm. But whenever they actually got to do some police work and literally put you, because you post protect and serve, so your job is to put yourself on the line. Anytime you got to put yourself on the line and the police don't have a tactical advantage, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They, oh, I can't go into the school. Oh, oh, she's shooting out of the AO. Oh, tactical advantage? You talk about Uvalde, Texas. Where the, they had the tactical advantage of all advantages. Hundreds of police, mm -hmm. agents, everything, body armor, scared, guns, scared to scared. go in there. Let over 20 of those, those young lives go. Scared to go in there because 
You're scared to do your job, which is protect and serve. You signed up for this. You know on this day, you're going to work from 4 to 12. You might not come back home because you're a cop and you signed up for that. This ain't your regular hospital it's a teacher commitment. job. You it's commit your life to serving the people. That's what you do. That's what you do. They didn't just give you a badge and a gun. It was like, all right, just make something happen. It's, it's a commitment to saving lives. It's all about you choosing whose life to save. They not you. They they take lives. They take more lives they than they take save. Lives. They take more lives than they save. You ain't lying. They take more lives than they save. And mm. then we saving lives of people who continuously take lives. A young man in Buffalo, we arrest this man after taking lives. Right. You listen, you know, um, it's their own code. We talk, oh, man, we, we, we know we, that. We, we talk about this often, right? We talked about, you know what I'm saying, the white folks and the numbers dwindling, right? We, we talk about all the time. They are going to protect their own to maintain their race right so the lady is bucking off shoot man's clean in the chest <laughs> and we not we not even going to be like step to the car and, and just release all kinds of fire back no we're going to duck off and hide and figure out maybe you know what I'm saying she'll run out of ammo or some shit I don't know what I do know is this they're going to protect their own they're going to protect their race no matter what and I know, like I say, uh, it's not ever going to be fair for us, black and brown people, because it wasn't meant to. The song Code. But we still got to show you it. We still got to talk about it because injustice lives with us. Every day. It does. We talk it, about it because we live it. That's it. And we understand it because we've, we've been, been there before. before. And we're going to keep on showing you and showing you and showing you so that you know it's fucking real. And maybe you'll continue to have these new generations continue to fight, continue to build, continue to grow, continue to gain that knowledge so that they're prepared as well. And that's conscious by nature.